Yo, what is up everyone? So, today we're gonna be doing a brand new video. We got a brand new build for us. If you don't know who I am, I am Paris Mai. I'm a challenger on the NA server. I'm currently um, 850 OP challenger on my main account, Paris Mai V9. And I am known for Kane, obviously. And I'm gonna be showing you a brand new build that I've been doing. So, first things first, over against Grundle, Irelia, Syndra, Ash, Swain. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. What player do I want to do this game? We have uh, some AP AD. Okay, good. Not too bad. Not too bad. You're just a tool to me, Rost. Let's see. Swin, Ash, Syndra. So yeah, they have a lot of uh, range champions, which is perfect because I'm trying to go my blue form this game. I have Rav Hunter, Cosmic Inside, First Strike. Okay. Perfect. I should have bombed this toilet world for more. Please, please. Okay. So yeah, these are my runes. Uh, the reason why this build I find to be so good is because the item Death Stance is very broken. A lot of people run it, and we're gonna be getting more Drinker because the uh, ability haste plus the Omni Vamp. Otherwise, Eclipse would be a good option, but you're lacking a little bit of ability haste, which I don't like. So that's why we're gonna be going Gore Drinker this game. Um. Everything's looking good so far. Oh, we got some good lanes. Got a pretty solid leash there. That's nice. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Syndra is there. Yeah. It looks like the enemy trundle started red, so. No idea what paths he's gonna be looking to do this game. Trundle's kind of hard to read. Sometimes they do really weird clears. I've even seen some trundles do full clears, but most of them look for an early gank. My bot lane every game so far today has always hard shoved, which makes it very hard to look for an early gank. And then they die to a gank. <laughs> it's such a common thing with jungle. Lanes will hard shove, make the lane as ungankable as possible. And then they'll complain when you don't gank. But don't worry. I'm here to teach you guys and girls what to do in these situations. Because I'm sure your frustrations, well, they've never been heard. But until now, I understand a lot about jungle. And I understand a lot about what junglers want to do. How junglers see the game. Oh, nice. Good job. It's great. Great. Okay. Yeah, pretty standard full clear time. Okay, we could maybe look for a gank here. Wouldn't it hurt to just look for something? Mid probably would be a good option as well, but that has a chance of having Trundle counter gank. Nice, that's huge. That is huge. Ah, uh, we should shove this in. Yeah, that's a really bad lane state. Oh, I'm not gonna get into the CS, am I? Oh wait, it kind of did. Yeah, you have to make sure that crashes, otherwise you're going to miss out on so much. You know what? I think I can actually... I was going to say I can actually kill Syndra, but Syndra just killed herself. Okay. <laughs> Very fortunate for us. Alright. Going to get the Iron Spike whip now. Perfect. Irelia is playing very hyper aggressive right now. I might actually be able to look for her. I if she pushes the tower. Oh, she's gonna look to ward right now. And then she'll come back and then she'll look to be aggressive because she'll be like, oh, I warded. I could be aggressive now. But that's not how it works. Because I just go through the wall. And you can't ward the wall. Actually, no, it looks like she hard backed off for now. She might walk up in a bit, but it'd be fair to assume that she just resets. Then I saw it use flash, so looking for that play mid seems pretty plausible. After your first clear, it's a lot easier to look for more aggressive plays. You have more levels, more XP. You know, you're more capable of making uh, big plays. Uh, I'm gonna 
actually hold on to my... Okay. Hold on to my flash there, hoping to do something. Sadly, even though Trundle does never reset, most champions tend to beat the hell out of Kane. If he had a reset there, imagine how much stronger he would have been. That would have been dangerous. But, thankfully, I have a reset, so I was able to not to get completely shattered. We got some orbs as well. That's nice. I'm glad I didn't flash for the Syndra there. I was very eager to flash for Syndra, but if I did, I would have easily died to Trundle. Those are the type of things that you have to think about. Even though it didn't really make too much sense for Trundle to stay that long, it's still it's one of those situations where it's like, oh, okay. Let's be a little bit more cautious. It's fine if they have it warded, because I could just approach this as fast as possible here. Oh. Yeah, I live here. Yeah, I should. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> I'm gonna get on Ash. Sad. Yeah, very ambitious by the Ash there. She even healed for me. <laughs> Huge. Alright, I'm very strong now. As we are running domination secondary in our runes, I get my boots early, which is great. I just find that to be terrific. Also, gonna be getting my tier. This is uh, a pretty big reason. Oh, wait, I forget. I'm actually running inspiration. Oh, I'm stupid. I forgot about that. It's fine, though. Alright, go get tier and Warhammer. Not bad. We get our boots soon. 3 KP. It's not too bad. Syndra's mid. Playing a little bit safe now, are we, Syndra? Cindy. You know what's funny? This is like my fifth game in a row. I've been playing a lot of games in a row. I was on another account, and some guy went like 3 and 19 Twitch mid, and he was playing me all game, and he kept telling me death threats. League of Legends experience. So if you're wondering why this video might be out a little bit late, it's because I got I got held up pretty pretty long. Pretty long. Um, okay, well... Also, why I'm kind of my throat's kind of tired. I've been talking so much to myself. I've just been <laughs> doing YouTubers all on my own. Okay, nice. They got a kill out of that. I get two kills. Yeah, Kaisa's popping off. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice one, Kaisa. Yeah. We're gonna go Death Stance, Gore Drinker, and Rap Hydra. It'd be perfect. Okay, and dead. Perfect. Oh, we can look to take the dragon right now. That'd be pretty good for us. Pretty good, pretty good. You see Ash bot lane. Ash is looking a little bit, uh, a little bit ag aggressive there. Look at her. She wants to push up. Oh, okay. I'm going to assume this is warded based off that. Or we're just a blind B or whatever that ability is. Could've been. Is I'm over the wall and they're not, so I'm not really too worried here. Yeah, you can't really do much there. <laughs> okay, so we have one of our three core items. Hope we can get them all. Like I said, I've been I've been farming for this game like five in a row. 
I've just been playing League non-stop trying to get a good game. It's not that the build's bad, it's just that people legit are in thing. Like, they'll be like, I'm 0-1, it's time to AFK. Okay, I don't want to play too aggressive here, because Cindy might be on the way. Okay, nice. Good job, good job. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Yeah, I probably look to use the rift top here. What I'm gonna look for is because Gwen is able to win trades, able to win fights, you're probably bait Irelia into a fight because a lot of Irelia players they have a lot of confidence. If you're able to hit an E, you're able to win a fight. That's how most Irelia see it. Sometimes you don't even need to hit your E. Sometimes you just throw your ult at them and hope for the best, right? But either way, what I'm trying to say is that Irelia players do have a lot of confidence, so should be able to get on her and do a lot of work. Trundle did invest a lot of time there. That land as well. Nice! Yeah, I just had to play in that direction of her. Good job! Okay. Ooh. Now, uh, listen. I'm kind of happy that they died down there because uh, my bot lane's kind of smurfing on them hard. And it's so hard to play this game without having people AFK. And I want to really show you guys this build. So I'm low-key kind of happy that they died. <laughs> I'm low-key. They're, they're just too good. It's it's not, it's not it's not their fault. They're just too good. Okay, well, we're getting a lot of camps. You always want to look for invades. Invades is something very huge. Okay, if you can hit a good combo. No. Oh, that Ash ulti. Oh, I'm sorry, Viego. I don't think I can help you. Yeah, but a lot of people don't know this, but uh, you should always look to invade. Just after you make a play. That's how you punish the enemy jungler for the most part. We have a really big reset. The reason why I'm not resetting is because I can stay on the map. I have a two level lead. So a lot of my stats, very high. I have very high stats. So I do a lot of damage. I, I am a very strong boy. So just imagine with all this XP, with all this damage, I'm going to be even stronger when I get my reset. Get my uh, items. I'll be pretty strong. Look for my top side here. I would say maybe we can kill Irelia again, depending on how Gwen plays it. Gwen would have to play really well, because I can only really do about 30% of Irelia's HP. And when Irelia can heal a lot, 30% is about like. That's like 30% out of maybe 150 to 200%. Sometimes she can heal a full 100% HP bar. She's got Blade the Rune King, so her autos are just going crazy. She's not pushing up though, so I'll just reset. Lucian's really good into champs like Trundle because I can just go through his pillar as well. That's really nice. Okay, get you, get you, and get you, and uh. It's pickaxe and chain vest. That's what Death Stance builds out of. Go get Rap Hydra and then Man Immune. Death Stance. Yeah, I was right. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I know that because I've been doing this five times in a row now. And it's like, yeah, finally, we gotta show you guys the build. This, this new build I've been excited to show you. <laughs> No, I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to complain. I don't mean to complain. I, I, I'm having fun playing League. It's just, you know, sometimes you get the tilt of teammates, you know. And today, I got the good teammates. I got the good teammates. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Nice. Oh, I can maybe look for a solo bolo on the uh, Syndra. Another thing about this build, uh, alongside with a lot of damage, you have a lot of abilities. And, uh, pretty tanky. Killing it makes you very tanky. Very good stuff. Okay, well, this soak up a lot of damage. So, Death Stance, I believe, is 2200 gold. Best way to get gold would be kills and towers. We can easily get a kill on Swain right now. Easily isn't the best word because he does have stopwatch, but I can kill him, which means I probably will. I didn't even use stopwatch there. Okay, cool. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do that thing where I always pretend to leave and then I come back and I go kill the Ash. Okay, I wanted to pop her shield, wait out a little bit, and skedaddle. Nice. Okay, we're gonna get the dragon. Dragons is how you make sure that you win the game. Objectives. 
Remember, when I always say FFO, it's farm, form, and objectives. When you have a lot of farm, when you have your form, the objectives. Oh, hello, Irelia. Okay, the thing is, I could definitely stall this out. Or can I stall it a full, like, 10 seconds here? Okay, yeah, I'm trying to bait them to, like, go on me here instead of doing anything else. And we're gonna go back in. Nice. Woof! Good job, team! This is what I needed! This is what I needed! Nice, okay. Shut up. Oh. Oh. Alright, well, I have Rav Hydra. X reset. Now I feel bad now. Me sorry. You know, this guy told me to off myself in champ select. Actually, no, he said to Andrew. He said to Gwen. He told Andrew to do that. I was, I was kind of worried that I was going to get another game where I got into. But thankfully, I did not. Oh, the knockback. Doesn't have ult, I can kill him. I'm trying to make Gwen, or not Gwen, Cinder stay. Oh, she still stayed here. Let's go! That's huge! I right, gotta get that Ravenous Hydra, then we're gonna be booming. Look how tanky I am in that fight, because of dead stands. Like, they can't actually do anything. Let's go, where? Um, don't worry about it. 2.3k healing off my Rav Hydra as well. Oh, it's beautiful, boys. It's beautiful. And make sure we're invading. I think Ravnus Hydra is 3,300. It's been a while since I built it. It is. Okay, good. It's been a while. I love building it. The only reason why I don't do it more is because it's so damn expensive. If Riot wants this item to be good, just make it 200 gold less. I promise. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'll be the first to buy it. It's such a good item. That's the only reason why I wouldn't do it every game. So if you guys ever wonder, Karis, why are you not doing this build? Why are you not doing this build? too damn expensive like right now imagine i bought man immune i'd be doing so much damage but the healing i gotta show off oh i don't even gotta show it off well, i gotta show off the first half of the build that's good enough for me for now right out let me know what you think should sure to drop a subscribe peace out oh